Hey, Jamaica, happy Emancipation Day. I wish I was there. Greetings from Mali here in West Africa. Celebrate, commemorate, remember, and have enough fun for you and I. Happy Emancipation Day. Storytelling has been an art form in many cultures, acting as a vehicle, passing on information between generations. No one else can tell a story like we do. Just ask sixth form San Diego High School student Davia Ellis, whose adaptations Mixed Standard and Jamaican Prose won her the Top Prose Award in the JCDC Performing Arts Competition. Take a listen. To the Haiti Taiti Girl! In my English class. What's so funny? No. Please tell me what is so hilarious about my painful attempt for talking our language while never mine. You see, Patwa tells a story of survival. It tells how my mother tongue and yours to this day, so I expect you to put some respect on it near when you talk as it. Every word, every syllable of my chat is a fighting on my own mouth. It's a back between my teeth, tongue, my subconscious, and my vocal cat to excuse you. If you're not like do your own my talk. You see, Patwa comes from this slaughterhouse. I like to call a moat. And you see my moat? <laughs> my moat is a back of feel, you know. It's one bag of different cultures, all warring for dominance. My tongue is a traumatized survivor. It lasts in this alien fluency. Patwa is how I find my way home. It's all me can say, punky, the girl is going ugly. <laughs> and me never bite my tongue, don't. You see, that's the thing. My tongue will forever be at war with itself, forever fighting to decolonize itself, fighting to lose and regain itself all at the same time. So cut me some slack. But I can't deal with me like that. Guess what? I am and I not ever stop calling my African name. And no, I will not. I refuse to apologize for my mother's legacy. There is no dignity in denying my identity. So you girl in my English class, yeah? Are you me I talk to? What your name? I think it's high time you learn my language too.